Okay, folks, going shopping at the food line. Got the man there behind me. It's very bright. It's a very nice day. Cloudless. Lovely weather. I just wish it were like 10 degrees warmer. But welcome to another week of Allie's Lose Weight With Me Keto Journey. Here we go. Gonna go shopping for the week. We got two meals to buy for throughout the whole week. Lunch and dinner. Gonna get a little sweet treat. Maybe a little snack for after work. So, here we go. So I do think that we're gonna switch it up a little bit this week. I might switch up the kale salad. It's taking a lot of carbs that I would rather use in like vegetables and other ways. But I still think we're gonna stick with beef for dinner and turkey for lunch. We're just gonna switch up the flavors maybe a little bit. I don't know, we'll see what we get here, what we can find. Well, now I don't know because I was looking up the amount of broccoli I would wanna eat, maybe 150 to 200 grams. That comes out to seven to nine grams of carbs, net carbs. So I might as well just go with the kale salad. We'll see. So after work, I've been doing my celery, but this celery is a little wobbly today. It's not very crisp. I think that's why it's on sale. So after work snack is just gonna be mushrooms, which is good. That means that I can keep my kale salad because I really do enjoy my kale salad. It's just pretty carby for a salad, but mushrooms are very low carb. So I'm gonna eat these after work as a snack. Is it just me or do y'all always look for like the lowest moisture in the bag when you choose salad? Cause I don't want it to go bad. But the good thing about kale is it actually does last a long time in the fridge and it's bag. It's not, it doesn't go bad as quickly as other lettuces. I think it's because it's not really a lettuce, but whatever. And I have lots left over from last week too. So I only need one bag. So since the celery didn't work out, I'm also gonna get some pickles. It's a heavy jar. <laughs> so some whole dill pickles. And I love these because for a quarter of a pickle it's zero calories and less than one gram of carbs. So I'm gonna assume that one whole dill pickle is like two grams of carbs and like five calories. So, not too bad of a snack. And I've been including this Dynamite Ranch with my kale salad because it's only 100 calories per serving and two grams of carbs. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna get this just in case, but I think I'm gonna do like an oil and vinegar type salad dressing, or I'm gonna try it this week maybe, just to see, switch things up. But if I don't like that on my kale, I'll get this anyway and have it as a backup. So the turkey patties, which I actually prefer because they're just a little bit easier to prep in the morning for lunch, are on sale. So Allie's stocked up. I took that whole row of turkey patties. And here's our beef for our bunless burgers. So I actually had some leftover turkey from last week and I was like, well, they're on sale, so I'll just get some more. And I love the patties, so great deal for me. So I think we're about ready to go. I've already bought my chocolate for the week from Walgreens because Walgreens always has it on sale. It's like two for five. And everywhere else has it for like $3.99 a bar. So it's like way cheaper at Walgreens. I don't know. The pharmacies are where it's at when it comes to chocolates. So that's the 90% lint that I get and I love it. I eat like three squares a night with some coffee. But let's just kind of overview what we got and then we're heading out. So we have our turkey patties for lunch. We got our mushrooms and our pickles for our afternoon snack. And then for dinner, our boneless burger meat. Backup dressing for our kale salad. And then, like I said, I already have my chocolate. So that's about it. That's all I'm eating this week, y'all. But it's gonna be, you know, around 1,100, 1,200 calories and keto friendly. Oh yeah, one last thing. I have been incorporating these sugar-free rock stars, like two or three of these a week. This is like a treat and they are 25 calories and one gram of carb per can. So not too bad. Hey folks, today we're making the same turkey. We're gonna do about 224 grams of turkey, which comes out to about 300 calories, 93% lean turkey. But we're gonna season it differently. I've been doing salt and Italian seasoning but I must have bought some bad Italian seasoning because the last one I got, it felt like it had like sand in it. Ooh. And so I've kind of been put off of the Italian seasoning for a while. You know how that happens? Like I didn't want to eat turkey for a while. But today we're going to switch up the seasoning. We're going to make a homemade taco seasoning. These are just some flavors I think taste like taco seasoning. I might have Googled this at one point. I don't know. <laughs> we're just throwing some spices from the spice cabinet all together in a bowl. So for our seasoning, we have salt, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, chili powder, onion powder, and ground cumin. So we're gonna make a batch for the entire week. So it's gonna be kind of a big batch. I'll put it into like a Ziploc bag, but we're just throwing it all together. There are no exact amounts, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix these spices together.
All right, cheers, y'all. It's lunchtime. Here we go. Got my oolong tea, and I probably, I don't know how long I'll be drinking tea, and it's actually warming up. Um, I am so ready for spring. I know that the man is ready for spring. I went to Home Goods, y'all, and I got some, like, little spring accents to spruce it up a bit. I'm replacing, like, the winter things around the house, and I'm changing them out just for some springier pops of color. Like, my Christmas throw pillows that were red are now, like, a very light champagne color. And the man went to Lowe's, and he got all these flowers for the yard, and we've got flowers, like, all over the house. He's into plants. We're making, like, plans for spring break. I'm just, I'm so ready for spring. I'm ready for warm weather. <laughs> I'm tired of being cold, but it's February and today is like 72 degrees is the high. So I think we're getting there. So here is our taco style turkey. Here we go. That's really good. You should try it out. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm loving this. And the spices, you know, they're not exact, but if you know what flavors you like and you just mix those types of flavors together, you'll get a really good final product. <laughs> I have totally embraced the yellow kitchen. I know in previous videos I said that I really wanted to paint it. That never happened. And now it's kind of cute. It's like a little country kitchen. It's yellow. And I decided to like give it some pops of blue when it's not Christmas time. Because when it was Christmas time, we had pops of red in the kitchen and it was so pretty. So I like the yellow, white, and blue or the yellow, white, and red color schemes. I would prefer a lighter yellow, like a butterier yellow, but... I'm just, I'm not going to paint it anytime soon, so I'll just go with the flow. <laughs> you do what you can, right? I was going to do it over Christmas break, and then I never did. And I was thinking, should I do it over spring break? Nope. So I'm going to finish my lunch, and I will get back to you guys. Happy President's Day. <laughs> I've actually been able to, like, leisurely film today, because we had today off. These are my new spring pillows. They're a champagne color. I try to get some that are blue and white that match my ginger jar. There's my ginger jar. I like ginger jars, blue and white things. But they didn't look good with the blue walls and like, I don't know, against the gray. They kind of looked dingy white because they weren't like bright white. So we went with the champagne. <laughs> Yesterday was Sunday and I was back on track and today I've been on track all day. I was feeling like I wanted to like drink wine today. I was like, oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm kind of having a relaxed day. I got all my errands done, got all my cleaning done. I was like, I should open up a bottle of wine because it's technically a holiday. I did not though because I was like, nope, I'm gonna stay on track. <laughs> Try and hit my goal someday, someday soon. But what I did instead is I ate like some salty pickles and some olives and that just kind of like, I don't know, made me feel good. Like just maybe the salt, maybe my salts are off having a flavor change because they're very, you know, tasty. I've noticed that that's worked in the past is if I eat like lots of like pickled things and salty things, that kind of gets rid of cravings. And I have to avoid alcohol throughout the week because it makes me binge. It, you know, loosens those inhibitions to overeat which is so bad for me who wants to lose weight. Right now my bunless burgers are in the oven, but I forgot to actually note the time that I stuck them in there. I think it was right about five o'clock because I was getting bored slash hungry. Anyway, so I'm gonna make these bunless burgers and I'm gonna show you my dressing. You know how to make an oil and lemon dressing. Super simple. The burgers I just seasoned with salt, pepper, and onion powder and my oil and lemon dressing, um, like a tablespoon of olive oil, about 40 grams of lemon juice added to that. And then I mix up the kale and all that juiciness. I salt it and then I add some Parmesan to taste. And that actually worked out really well last night, so I did not need to eat my <laughs> backup dynamite ranch. All right, I'm gonna go fix my salad and eat my dinner. And I'll talk to you later. And we've made it to the weekend. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> this is that Barefoot Bubbly. It's like $9 that's always on sale at the food line, and it's really good. Like, we went to that fancy restaurant a couple weeks ago for Valentine's, and this is just as good as the drink that I got there. And that was like $9 a glass. This is $9 a bottle. Mm. So doing good. This morning I was 157 point something. Tonight I have a friend's birthday celebration to go to. We're going to go to this fancy chop house. So I'm going to go get ready for that and kind of freshen up and everything. But I'm not going to like go all out. I'm just going to have a couple drinks and I'm just going to get a steak and like a side of veggies and that's it. So I'm not going to go crazy because I know I'm only supposed to eat out like once on the weekend because we do our date night on Saturday. So I'm trying not to eat out on Friday, but this friend is going to be moving to France soon. 
So, you know, the priorities in life, at least two vanity pounds or, you know, celebrating with a friend who I may not be able to see very much in the future. You know, I've been doing beef and salad all week, so I'll basically do the same thing at the restaurant, adding in a couple drinks. And then tomorrow, um, no real plans. I think the man and I are gonna go do our weekly date night. We're gonna try out a new restaurant called Market on Main. So we'll see how it goes. It's one of those fancier, not fancy, but it's just like, you know, not a chain. It's like a local restaurant down on Main Street downtown. Gonna try it out. So cheers, y'all. I hope you're having a great week. And if you're watching this on a Friday, I hope you have a great weekend like I think I'm about to have. Okay, folks, last night we went to our birthday party for our dear friend, and Allie did pretty good. She got the steak and then a side of Brussels sprouts, and then the man and I split the bacon steak, which was kind of fatty, but it was still pretty good. All in all, a nice dinner with friends. Had some wine, some sparkling wine. And now the man and I are going on our date night. It is Saturday, and we're going to market on Main, and uh, looking forward to some good food. We've never been here, it's a new restaurant. We're kind of trying out all the new restaurants. So we'll see how it goes. Well, folks, it's Monday and I've lost my voice, if you can't tell. It went out about midway through the day, right about lunchtime. That's the perks of being a teacher. <laughs> so let's talk about our Saturday dinner at Market on Main. It was so good. It was like way good, like better than like the really fancy restaurant that we went to for Valentine's. Like, don't get me wrong, that was good. But Market on Main was really worth the price. So the man and I got the pimento cheese dip and we split it. And I ate so much dip. It was like probably 600 calories of cheese dip that I ate. <laughs> but it was so good and I'm going to say it was worth it. It was worth it, you know. And then um, I got the pork loin. I asked, I asked her if the sauce, the Asian sauce that it came in was sweet. And she said, no, it's not sweet at all. Well, guess what y'all? It was pretty sweet. I mean, I did this in the video, but uh, it was pretty sweet. Even the man took a bite and he was like, yeah, that's pretty sweet. So, you know, when you eat out, you do the best you can. I should have asked for the sauce on the side, but I trusted the waitress. Oh, well, that's, that's lesson learned. That's my fault. Great atmosphere too. They had like a live band outside on the patio on like this nice green lawn. Super duper nice. But I was 158 yesterday on Sunday morning. So I'm sure all the food's catching up to me. You know, when I eat out more, my digestion slows down. So I'm sure I've got some food waste just hanging on and it's just the struggles, but I'm getting there. <laughs> but I think now I'm finally done with like all the excuses to go out to eat. You know, it kind of all started right around Valentine's Day and just kept going for like two or three weeks. But now I feel like I can finally focus and not feel obligated to go out for people's birthdays or celebrations or anything. So feeling good like this week is finally going to be a normal week. Thank you guys so much for following and, you know, hanging in there and cheering me on and encouraging me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I know it's going slow, but, you know, I'm just not in like the urgency mode to lose weight. Like I've said in the past, they're just vanity pounds now, but it's keeping me going, right? At least I'm not gaining weight. 
which is a positive. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to try and conserve this. You guys know the drill. Like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And I'll see you next time. My name is Allie. Have a good one. Bye.